This is Buskin. You have probably seen these people. Magicians, jugglers, puppeteers, equilibrists, dudes eating swords. And then that's me trying to make music on the street with my guitar. But where are all these people born with their skills? Were they already good when they started for the first time? What it would be like if they never started because they felt they were not good enough? I believe that everything starts with a dream. When I was a child, I wanted to be a pop star. To me, there was no higher artistic achievement than that. I listened to the Beatles and to Bill Haley with See You Later Alligator. Do you remember that? See you later, alligator. And I listened to a ton of English and Italian music and the song is Walkman. The Walkman? was my best friend. Tiny stereo cassette players with featherweight headphones. Yeah, carrying your stereo with you, you know? Everybody's buying the machines. I used the Walkman to go to the toilet, to go to sleep. At school, during art class, changing cassettes every single time. I really couldn't stop listening to music. And more than everything, more than everything, more than everything, more than everything, I wanted to be a music idol. I dreamed to have a nice guitar with an amp and I wanted to work with the best band that I could find. I wanted to write my own songs and I also dreamed to perform in great locations. I wanted all of that. I wanted to be that version of a pop star that I thought it was the only version of a pop star. The one on the big stage with a lot of fans that you can watch on your TV from your couch at home. Eating Pringles. That's what I wanted to be. You know, if you want to be an artist, all you need are some pencils and a sketchbook, and you can be like Giotto. If you want to be a writer, all you need is a laptop and your fingers, and you can write a book. But when I was a teenager, my pop star fantasies were at their peak. If you want to be a musician, you need an acoustic and possibly an electric guitar. You need singing lessons, good locations to perform, an amp, pedal effects, electric guitar, a mixer. I already said electric guitar. By the way, microphones for the band, a drum, a garage practice. You need the money. If you wanted to be a pop star, you needed all of those things. And all of those things, I didn't have. And so, I just did what I could. I started to play the guitar with my dad after I bought it for his birthday with my mom. We thought it was a good idea because he really liked to play the guitar when he was younger, but he never actually played the guitar because I stole that guitar from him. I joined a few bands trying to play the electric guitar, which I miserably failed because I wanted to be someone playing those great solos in the middle of a song, but yeah, that's me trying to play a solo and that's my best. So I decided to sing, I joined a choir, I did gigs in the pubs, and I started singing lessons together with my YouTube channel. Hi guys, um, this is the first time that I talked to you. And then, well, I was in my 20s and I was studying, so I had to finish what I was studying, right? That's the right thing to do. And then I had to find a real job. That's the other right thing to do that everyone says that we should do. I spent my whole life not working on my dreams and not embracing who I really was. This conflict between pursuing my passion and doing what's meant to be good for me made me feel hibernated. I didn't know anymore what I wanted. I was stuck. I thought music was important, but not that important anymore. And I started to doubt myself thinking it wasn't for me. I lost my path and I lost my music. But at the same time, at the same time, I, I, knew, I knew it was my dream. And after almost two years working in that real job, something I didn't expect happened. I became depressed and I spent some nights in my bed asking myself, what am I even doing? Is this really what I want? Okay, it's 10 and 20 minutes p.m. and uh, things have to change. What have I done, Alfred? Why do we fall, sir? So that we can learn to pick ourselves up. And so one day I said, it. 
I want to make music with no plan B. Working in an office is boring for me, so I just quit. I have two big passions. One is to make music and the other one is to make videos. And we live in 2022 now where everyone has these in their pockets. Search for Baskin, scroll. I realized that I could have my own stage, the street. Few people can show up to a gig, but going on the street, hundreds. Put it in online, thousands. I decided to find my own small audience, my own small little audience. You don't need millions of people to support you. Find your community and interact with them. If you have the feeling to start busking, you already have the answer. Do it. This is really all you need to understand if this is good or not for you. Just follow your intuition. Share your music. Get that idea out of your head. Practice. Put it on a video. Make a cover. Practice. Make a song. Make it good. Practice. Make it better. Practice. And make it great. I don't know if I make great videos or if I make great music, but what is even life? What is even life without having a passion? We should be able to do what we like. And I like what I do now. And I don't know what I would be without making music and videos. Well, maybe I would be in my bed and have eating Pringles, but to be honest, I wouldn't like to be like that again. So the question is, where are we now? Should we just do what's meant to be good for us? Or are we ready to practice and do what we really like? <laughs>